Self-driving cars have recently come under intense scrutiny after one of Ubers killed a woman back in March. The devastating incident really highlighted just how far autonomous technology in cars has to go. I think it's kind of creepy, to be honest. I think it's something for the future, but right now it's pretty dangerous. Don't think I would like it. You have major companies like Ford and Tesla jumping on the bandwagon, but who's actually engineering these cars? Self-driving car engineers work to train the vehicle to perceive the world around it and then plan a path through that world and then ultimately turn the steering wheel and hit the throttle and hit the brake to follow that path to get to where they want to go. Today we're speaking with expert David Silver who leads the self-driving car program at Udacity which is where you can actually learn to become an engineer in this field. It is one of the highest paid fields of software engineering in Silicon Valley right now because it exists at the intersection of computer science and mechanical engineering and math and statistics and it's really hard to find people with all of these different backgrounds. There's obviously been a lot of concerns about safety. How does that factor into the training that you do at Udacity? Every one of, of these accidents is a tragedy, both for society and especially for the, the people involved. I think the biggest thing that the autonomous vehicle and, and self-driving car industry can do to make people comfortable is to be safe and be reliable. So knowing what we know about self-driving cars and what we don't know, would you consider being a self-driving car engineer? Let me know in the comments below.